In this video, we'll show how you can use the new enter code control to prompt a user to enter a code. And then if the user enters an invalid code, you can uh, shake the control to give the user feedback that they've typed an invalid value. So here's the uh, uh, UX component uh, with the enter code control. So I'm going to go here and type in the valid, a valid code. So I'll type one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can see that there's an Ajax callback to validate the code. And then the, the uh, validation uh, code sends back a message saying that the code was valid. So now let's go here and enter an invalid code. So I'll go there and replace that with a seven and then six. And you can see that basically because the code was invalid, we send back a method. We send back code to shake the control. Uh, to indicate to the user that they've entered an invalid code. So this uh, control is added to the component by going to uh, add controls here or going to data controls, either one. And then in uh, more, we can see we have an enter code control over there. And then we can go and we can configure that control. So we can see we've specified that our code has six characters and that it only allows digits. We could also turn on lowercase characters, uppercase characters and symbols. And then here we've styled those boxes, the input boxes. So we've basically gone here and we've said that there's uh, no outline around the uh, uh, outline none border. So we've got and uh, we've we've put a gray border. We set a radius of four pixels and a uh, padding of six pixels on the left and the right and zero above and below. We could also go and choose a class name if we wanted. We've said two pixels between controls. And then we've said that when you when the user has entered all six values, uh, run this function uh, data entered. So let's go take a look at that function. So JavaScript functions there. We can see that data entered makes an Ajax callback and it calls an, an XBasic function called XB. And then here's this XBasic function. So this is the data that the user has entered into the control. This is the valid um, uh, code. And if the user has entered the valid code, we send back an alert saying that the code is valid. Otherwise, we get a pointer to the control and then we call the controls shake method. So what we've shown over here is how you can build a UX component that displays data entry boxes to prompt for a code and then gives the user feedback if they've entered the incorrect code value. Thanks very much for watching.